Brand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada for our main event. Ten rounds of heavy... Opening round scheduled for ten. Big shot up top. He really got to him there. Defensively, I'm assuming the taller fighter in this matchup tonight really has to be conscious of protecting his body, Teddy. You know, Joe, that's a great point. We think about the taller guy only being vulnerable to the chin if the shorter man gets in, but if you're tall, there's a lot of long and usually lean body to attack. Not able to land the uppercut. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Huge uppercut by Tyson. He brings an uppercut that really does damage there. Well-targeted left hand by Mike Tyson. Commits to the straight right. Combo lands upstairs. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you're calm in there, when you're controlling there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. And now you see the southpaw pulling the trigger with the straight left. Tyson's starting to score at ease against his opponent there. Anytime you can land a three-punch combination, you're really hitting your groove. A good block. Tyson's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Nice strike after catching one by Tiger. They're not exactly getting to know each other. They're just beating the hell out of each other early on here. Yeah, Joe, this keeps up. They're both going to have headaches, and we're going to have one of the great fights to talk about. Sending out the power shot. It was a straight left hand. Tyson's in complete control here as he takes a rest after a round in which he really dominated the action. Is there anything, Teddy, that you see that he should be thinking about when he gets off the stool here for the next round? Yeah, you know, he should follow up on his lead, on his edge, on his advantage. You know, he, I noticed that he's hurting him in the body. Well, now start to double up that hook. One downstairs, one upstairs. That is a classic Tyson uppercut. Off target with that hook. Committing now to the left hand. Good straight shot. Right to the body. Tyson's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Finish with a hook. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. Tiger's swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. Come on. There's the combo downstairs. He shook him up with that right hand. Good work by. Look at that. And he goes down for the first time tonight. but able to get up to his feet. Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot and brings back the uppercut. That's a hook right to the flank. Scored well up top. Tyson with a big uppercut. Must be the punch of the day. Both guys bringing home uppercuts. That head moving. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by Mike Tyson. Round comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum gainer. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I How so? So I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to them in a fight was when they scored the knockdown. 
because they thought it was just going to keep happening. And they thought about only the punch they landed, not how they set it up. So they got away from the game plan. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Able to counter that attack. Mike Tyson's hand speed is right now the difference. Teddy, you got faster hands, you're halfway home. Yeah, that's a great, great asset to have, is to be able to do that. But there is a way to negate it, to counter it, and that's to time the punches. Timing can beat speed. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Tigers in bad shape. Solid. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's gotta survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. Nice. Wow! Ruined in one instance, just done. Fight over. Boom. Yeah.